Hello, welcome to the Art Channel. In this film, we're visiting the Listen Gallery in central London to see a new exhibition of work by the artist Ai Weiwei titled Roots. Illuminations made in 2019 is a reiteration of a very famous selfie that IYY took in 2009 in a lift uh, in Chengdu province where he had been uh, woken up and taken and beaten up by the police for his involvement in the politics around all the terrible deaths in the uh, Sichuan earthquake. So this is a revisiting of an image which is already kind of viral. What it illustrates is Ai Weiwei's political activism with this dissidence against really a kind of authoritarian streak of uh, the Chinese authorities. And it is a gesture of bravery mm. or resistance. And it's become an iconic image, hasn't it, um, of Ai Weiwei's protest. Uh, it's taken in a mirror within a lift. It's almost as if he's taken these security officials by surprise. And then he renders it in the material of Lego. He's taken a photograph and translated it. And that's very characteristic of his mm. work, isn't it? The idea of pixelating an existing image and um, reproducing it in this age of reproduction of kind of global access is quite interesting. And also taking the idea of, you know, ready-made even further. Ready-made material, Lego, universal, global, contested and reproduces this, as you say, this very famous selfie. What we're familiar with and what's really still very engaging to look at are these huge monumental sculptures of roots. I mean, Ai Weiwei has been making versions of these, looking at trees, looking at the forest, looking at relationship to these for decades. And here he's giving us kind of strange beasts, strange animals, which for the first time are named by his small son who came with him into the rainforest in Brazil when he was making these molds of these amazing bits of forest. Yes, he's engaged with this idea of the Anthropocene era, which is uh, apparently the sixth phase of extinction, and it refers explicitly to man's impact on the earth through extraction and development. And of course, Brazil is at the heart of this debate at the moment. Um, Ai Weiwei is a very international, peripatetic artist who prides himself on a kind of cultural cross dialogue and these roots are very emblematic of those kind of interests. Interesting that they are obviously uh, the moulds are taken in the rainforest and then the production process is in China uh, made by these amazing artisans um, reviving, keeping alive these incredible processes and he does talk about using iron rather than bronze because iron is everywhere, it's in us, it's in the ground, it's in the forest and he says it's less sophisticated than bronze which I thought was a really interesting comment. Yes, I mean Ai Weiwei is a great champion explicitly commissions and works with uh, these artisans in order to support, like a sort of producer or benefactor, uh, for his um, sculptures. And sometimes he makes these very elaborate cabinets made of wood. At other times, he's casting found materials. But at the heart of it is this interest in sustaining and supporting traditions that are being wiped out by new forms of capitalism, especially in China. So in this exhibition, what you encounter is the way in which Ai Weiwei is unusual as a contemporary artist for addressing these very large contemporary concerns of environmental degradation, while at the same time, this concern for individual freedoms and political human rights, especially in his native China. He's not concerned with emotive, introspective forms of expression, but rather he's bringing together lots of different ideas to channel political concerns. This remarkable work is called All Fingers Must Point Down, and it's made in 2015 and it comprises two materials, bamboo and silk. And so you have this very elaborate, intricate sculptural ensemble. 
made by kite makers in China using these traditional techniques. It's a really impressive, beautiful, and rather mesmerizing work. It is wonderful, isn't it? It's really a joyous thing. And the contrast, the lightness of this mm. compared to those heavy roots is amazing. And as you say, made by really skilled kite makers using traditional materials and techniques. All fingers must point down, uh, alluding to Ai Weiwei's uh, famous finger pointing up at the authorities and everybody else. So you have these hands kind of hanging down. And you get this reference, as you say, to this encyclopedia of gorgons and dragons and, and monsters. And it's just, it's really lyrical, I love it. And, and a kind of a more recent reference is, is uh, Tatlin's Tower uh, from 1920, over here in 3D, and then here kind of flattened out into a beautiful drawing. And there are references uh, to Leonardo's imaginary uh, winged human, uh, a kind of mechanical early form of flight that later Tatlin resurrects. It's really it's, it's sort of cinematic. Mm -hmm or rather like a sort of cartoon uh, with all these elements coming together, jostling to make this narrative. And I think it's perhaps the most successful piece in the whole show. Yeah, makes me smile. Yeah. And you get those shadows, so you get a set of drawings on the wall as well. There's a sort of joyful um, quality about it that returns you to childhood. So we have an artist who is politically engaged, he talks about migration, immigration, slavery, refugees, what we're doing to the planet, what we're doing to each other, um, political suppression. These are huge ideas and I think part of the reason he's able to get them across to all of us is that he's good at communicating them in ways we understand. He really understands social media, he understands how to get us on board and everybody can tap into those ideas. I suppose there might be an issue if you are looking at equality, slavery, the idea of being a refugee or the reality of being a refugee. How do you then square selling your pieces of work in wonderful gallery spaces for lots and lots of money? Maybe you have to do that to get your message across, but it's a 21st century issue. It's an issue for maybe a global player like Ai Weiwei. Thank you for watching and supporting the Art Channel. You can share and distribute these films and please give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate your comment and we'd love you to subscribe.